So today we're going to take this old Tapco mixer. I've already taken all the knobs off and so these guys for the tone controls, these need to get cleaned up. It's pretty dirty. But we're going to take this and we're going to mod it so that way instead of being a mixer, it is going to be six independent channel strips to go into a audio interface. So the way that we're going to do that, got this nice handy schematic. We're going to take each channel strip, which this is basically each channel strip, and then off of the treble control, it feeds into a resistor for each channel. So we're going to disconnect from here and then wire it so that way it goes to the jacks in the front. So the way that this is now, the XLR jack and the quarter inch jack both go to the input. So we're going to change that. So the XLR will become our input and the quarter inch jack will become our output. So I'll be back after some soldering. There it is. If this thing had a warranty, it's um, void now. So up underneath, you can see all these resistors. I desoldered one end just to get it out of the way. And where it was soldered into, I put these black leads in place. And these go down to the quarter inch jacks. So the XLR still goes all the way down. It was just a direct link. And the XLR comes in here. I left the ground connected across so the chassis is all grounded and everything else helps keep the noise out. All in all, they didn't sound too noisy when I was testing it. Had the cover off and it was, it was a little bit louder when I just dropped the cover over and put a couple screws in it quieted it. it made it a lot more quiet a lot less noisy however you want to say it so now like I said in the schematics before these resistors are no longer in the circuit the signal basically gets to the treble pot and then from there goes out to my outputs which were once the unbalanced inputs so yeah not too shabby, not too much work. Now basically everything over here in the master section does nothing. So you've got some power supply and things like that. I guess you could plug into them through, I don't know if there's an auxiliary. Yeah, there is. There's an auxiliary input. That should still work and get you to the master section that way. Yeah, that's it. The original idea for this, originally what I was going to do is get a hold of a Shure M67 style mixer, which there's lots of mods for that. This is what more often happens. I'm trying to remember where they put it. Where's the volume for this? I think it's after this filter is what they do. So after this gain stage, goes into a low cut filter and after this resistor I guess either before or after I guess it doesn't really matter what you're doing you know I think it would be after you take this tap and go to an output so similar idea only this way I have some EQ knobs instead of a high pass filter all right well that's it any questions comments I'm sure you know what to do this was a fun little side project, and I'm sure it'll come in handy. My audio interface, I have eight mic pre's, and then I have an eight at expansion that gives me eight more ends, but the channels on that, the preamps on that, are pretty noisy, so I'm planning on using this and give my mics a, a boost before it hits that. So, we'll see how it sounds. I'm thinking it should sound pretty cool on dynamic mics like for drums and guitar amps and things like that so maybe the next time I track something I'll put a snare mic in and maybe a 
snare straight to the interface and then a snare through one of these channels and we'll see how it sounds. <laughs> 